All right. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to Cover Review Guru. My name is Light, and it is daytime now. Um, it got a little late last night, so I decided to just come back and, and redo this. So, um, we last left off at CMS version 2, um, where we captured two flags. Now I'm about to show you how I captured the last flag. Excuse me. So, uh, like I told y'all before, I checked these hints out, man. It was I'm not going to lie. I was a little lost. So we actually found flag zero and two. Um, I'm going to show you how I went about finding flag one. So, of course, one of the hints is what actions could you perform as a regular user on the last level that you can't do now? Well, we can't edit a page without logging in or create a page without logging in. So that's one thing. That didn't really help me out, um, <laughs> to be honest. But uh, then I saw the second one, it said, just because request fails with one method doesn't mean it will fail with a different method. Hmm. So what they're basically meaning here, if you, you know, haven't really picked up on the hint or you're kind of new to um, networks or you know, how I would say the internet kind of works, and I'm not being funny because it is very complicated, but they're referring to HTTP headers and the requests are basically like get requests and uh, well the get header and the post header and what they're essentially saying is just because you requested like here let me take you to this page like here we're at this page like I said you can edit this page but it will take you have to first authenticate to get in so you're technically requesting um, to uh, edit this page. And the reason why I say that is because if I turn my intercept on, um, there's going to be a, a web request sent to the server to ask if I can get to the page that actually is this right here. So page edit one. So there's a page on the website that I can go and actually edit said page. So I mean, essentially asking to get access to that or get that page. But of course, we're not able to do that. I'm take this inner step off because first you have to authenticate. And knowing that, we're trying to hack into that. So essentially, what we're doing is trying to bypass authentication. Bypass authentication means I am about to try to log in to get this done. <laughs> um. And the way you do that is through the manipulation of the header. So as I said before, um, they're talking, they're referring to uh, a header request. So going back to this um, hint here, where it says just because a request fails with one method, so the first method being a get method, you're essentially, when you're using a get method, you're requesting data from a specified source so you're requesting um access to said page like you're or at, uh, you're requesting that page but it won't give you that page unless you authenticate so that failed um so they're telling you to use another method which again there's a couple of http um header method uh yeah header methods there's put there's delete there's get there's post there's a couple more i'm not going to go over but those are the methods that they're talking about um, and the last one here, the last is that different requests often have different required authorization. Um, yeah, I'm not going to get into that, but I'm going to just show you how I went about doing it. So essentially what I did here was change the get method, uh, not get method, yeah, the get header, yeah, the get method into the post header. So the post basically sends data to the web server itself. It's basically just saying, um, instead of requesting access, it's, it's more like me saying this is about to happen. Like I'm about to just go ahead and and make this change. Um, you usually do this when you're editing um, passwords and things of that nature. But I don't want to go too far into the rabbit hole. I just want to kind of touch on the uh, subject with that. But in essence, how do you go about manipulating that HTTP header? Well, this is why we have the Burp Suite um, proxy up. And again, we're, we have to intercept said request before it makes it to the server. So right now, um, 
I haven't requested anything. I'm on this page. So I'm going to turn on my intercept on and I'm going to click on edit page. So this, what we're seeing here is what would have got sent to the server. Me saying, hey, can you get this page and send it back to me, to the server? And the server just would have been like, no, nah, I'm going to send you to <laughs> the login page. So what I'm going to do now is just, I ain't going to request it. I'm going to be like, look, I'm about to go to this page. I'm going to change this to a post um, method and say, uh, I'm about to basically edit this. Um, and I actually would have gotten this page had I authenticated. So, um, excuse me, this request would have actually went out had I had a uh, proper authentication. So, um, what I'm going to do now is just change that and then press forward and boom lay flag <laughs> um, forward and if if you're kind of new to uh, burp suite when I click forward it's then taking the request that I intercepted and pushing that forward to the um, to the web server so that's pretty much how I found the uh, third flag uh, like I said, this is going to be the last capture flag I actually do, um, like show people. I'm going to still do this, but the next time I, I, I do another CTF for Hacker One, because I'm going to do more. I'm just not going to do it for Hacker One because I don't want to ruin that invitation um, for anybody or anybody who wants to feel accomplished. Or I honestly just don't want to morally give out the answers for people. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, so moving forward, the videos that um, I'm going to do are going to just talk about the exploits and how I, how I went about doing it without necessarily showing it on the screen. So um, I'll see you guys in the next video.